Welcome to the second part of my Great War video series. Another very interesting topic is an imitation of the plywood on the plain hull. If you were watching the first part of this video series, then you already knew the basics of a painting wooden texture. If you are painting light wood, then you must base coat your model with a white color. The first method I want to show you is painting model only with oil paints, although I use this technique only for interiors of my model. This model is in 1 to 48 scale. I blend some oil paint with a smooth flat brush and then I imitate wooden texture with a pointed brush. The result is not perfect, but it will be inside the hull, and almost everything will be covered. And now I show you how to imitate very realistic plywood. The best way is to use wooden decals. You can print your own on a laser printer or buy pro decals. HGW made this one, but you can buy them from many other companies like Ushi van der Rosten or Zoiki Mura. This one is prepared for albatross, but others have a large sheet covered only with a wooden texture. So now I show you how to work with them. It is not so simple as the ordinary decals. First you must cut out each wood decal from the decal sheet. Then put the decals into the water for a few minutes as you already used to. Now the application itself. I use decal setter first. You cannot put all the decals on the model at once, because each section is a little bit larger and you must cut them to a precise size. Now I clean excess decal setter and water with a paper towel. As I said, I must cut the decals to a precise shape. You must use a very sharp blade, because cuts must be very clean and straight. Now I set the decals properly with a decal setter and let it dry for a few hours. Four should be enough.
As soon as the first layer dries up, I can start applying the second one. I do it the same way as the first one, but you must be very careful with cutting. One mistake can destroy your previous work. So I recommend a bit of patience and do not hurry. I think it looks pretty cool. Much more difficult is to apply decals on the top hull, because you must use a lot of decal setter to set them correctly. It is a little bit time consuming, so I jump to fully covered hull. The work is almost done, but I clean all the bubbles and imperfections with cotton swab. You can fix the decals with one layer of the clear varnish before applying decals from the kit, but it is not necessary, so I didn't do it. Now I let everything dry properly for one day. And then I coat the hull with transparent clear varnish. Okay, now it seems like it is everything. But you know me, so it is not finished yet. And let's make some improvements of the overall look with oil paints. First, I apply dark brown oil wash into the panel lines. The hull looks still very uniform, but I know an easy trick how to change that. I blend brown oil paint on the some plywood sections. It will change a tone of the color and make the wood texture a little bit darker.
now it looks more interesting. I let dry all paints for one day and then I fix the result with a clear varnish. And that is all my friends, I hope you are not scared of creating wooden texture on your own models, as I used to be. So thanks for watching and see you next time.